I hope you are all doing well. I have tried and failed to vlog this week. I have honestly picked up my camera every day and it is now Wednesday and I've thought, you know what? I just need, I just need to talk. I need to pick up my camera and just get on with it. I just feel like I'm being a little bit self-critical this week. Um, but I'm just getting ready. It's so miserable this morning. I think it's going to be a very grey, rainy day. I'm heading out a bit later to actually go meet my mum. I'm going to pick up my mum and we are heading over to her new house and we're just doing a little bit of like interior bits, measuring up, sorting some things out um, and then I'm going to also see my dog because my poor little angel Gracie um, has hurt her knee and she is she is really getting on at the moment she is 16 years old i cannot believe she is 16 so crazy um and she's hurt her leg i'm not sure what she's done the vets think that she might have pulled a ligament in her knee she's absolutely fine she's honestly such a trooper my mum's been taking her on walks and she has been living her best life with three legs hopping around and she's fine she's eating the vet kind of felt around and said it doesn't seem like anything's broken um but yeah she could have torn a ligament or sprained it and it's kind of swollen and can just heal on its own so she's got some antibiotics i think or some um some kind of medicine to help with the swelling and my mum says she's absolutely fine though and to be honest the vets did say because she is so tiny and also quite old if they were to operate there could be a risk that something might happen and she might not wake up which is really scary and it's just something that we don't really want to risk if she was in pain we would know about it because she is a little bit of a drama queen um and she's honestly fine so yes i'm gonna go over i haven't seen her for a while so i'm gonna go to my mum's house and just spend a few hours with her this afternoon so i thought i would get myself ready for the day even though there is probably not much point because it is miserable outside also before i go i really want to use this new device and do a bit of a wardrobe sort out i've noticed that a lot of my knitwear is quite bobbled and i do actually already have a debobbler from steamery but it runs out of battery really quickly and it's quite small so it builds up the lint um in the it's more of a travel one to be honest um the lint builds up in the little holder really quick and i have to empty it all the time so i can i can't i can barely get through one jumper um without having to empty it so i wanted one that was a bit bigger so i can actually do it for a bit longer AA batteries that's even better because i don't have to charge it up okay i'm gonna run downstairs and get some batteries um but yeah i just wanted to show you kind of how i care for my clothes bits and bobs that i do um i need to have a bit of a tidy up in here because i've got some washing to put away and just some general bits and bobs and i also have so much to chat to you about with in like the wellness space because i have been discovering a lot of things and i just have some interesting bits to talk about basically i'm currently wearing um a holland cooper navy knit and i have got some loungewear trousers on this morning because i've already been sat at my desk since 7 a.m um and i just wanted to get dressed so these are my pretty lavish little striped wide leg trousers i am going to put some jeans on before i head out this afternoon but let me get some batteries and then we can continue I've been styling my hair with my straighteners for the past kind of month and I'm way preferring it to the Dyson. I just curl it and then just don't brush it out for a couple of minutes until it's completely cooled. And I just, I way prefer how it's looking. My hair at the moment is back to my natural colour and I had it cut last year, a few months ago. 
and I got quite a bit cut off the ends and it just feels so healthy, shiny and lovely and I'm really really pleased with it because I'm trying to do a lot to look after it. Um, I really want to do an updated beauty routine with you and show you all the products I'm loving, different areas of beauty like body care, gadgets, all the things that I'm using and loving. Um, because I feel like February for me has actually so far been a bit of an extension of January and I've just been really looking after myself from the outside and now I am trying to look after myself from the inside so that is kind of what I wanted to chat about but we will do that later. <gasps> it's on. I bought this from Amazon, I'll link it below. It's just a fabric shaver, so it doesn't damage your clothes, it works so well. So I thought I would show you how I use it. Now, in my wardrobe, this is where I keep all of my knitwear um, on these shelves here. I prefer to fold up my knitwear rather than hanging them, just because I always find that when I hang really nice knitwear, the shoulders lose their shape a little bit and I feel like it just damages them. So I would much rather just fold them up and have them stacked like this. And actually that was one thing I really wanted to focus on with my wardrobe was making sure everything was kept really nicely, which is definitely why I had doors put on because it protects them from the sunlight and dust and everything like that. So I'm gonna try and get through as many of my knits as I can before I need to leave. Um, I've got a good hour or so, so I think I can do quite a few. My cream ones are the ones that are ridiculously bobbly. Um, let me grab one that's really bobbly. One thing that I feel like is a bit of a misconception with knitted fabrics is that the more expensive or the higher quality the fabric, the less they bobble. But I have never found that the case. I can have jumpers that are, I don't know, 20 pounds from a high street store and they might never bobble but high quality ones will bobble it's just i don't know i don't really know i think it's just the um friction of where it rubs on clothes the good thing about a fabric shaver is that it doesn't damage your clothes at all the shaver that's inside is actually underneath this little grid so it's really really going to protect the clothes now i want to show you a before and after because if you've never seen one of these they are unbelievable this lily silk cream knit i wear all the time it's one of my favorite jumpers i absolutely love it and i am starting to invest a little bit more into my clothes um don't get me wrong i still shop at high street stores but Pieces like a cream knit, a good basic that I'm going to bring out so many times throughout the year is something I'm trying to invest a little bit extra money in and just get that better quality fabrics. So I'm really hoping this is going to come up. Can you see how bobbly that section is? Ridiculously bobbly. <laughs> so all I do is take the fabric shaver, turn it on. And just, let me try and show you in the screen. I just literally, really lightly, just go over the surface. You really don't have to press hard at all. Just really lightly go over the surface. You can do like circular motions or like side by side. Now, let me show you a little before and after. So, as you can see, this section here, probably about up to here, I have debobbled. This section, I have not. So it really makes such a difference. Now, don't get me wrong, this takes quite a while. So it's definitely something you want to do when you're like watching TV or watching some videos or something. Um, maybe you can do it while you're watching my YouTube videos. <laughs> but it's so worthwhile because it just prolongs the lifespan of your clothes it keeps them looking really fresh really clean and it just makes you i just always feel like when you care for your clothes and they all look pristine you always look more po polished and put together so i am going to catch up on some of my friends youtube videos and 
crack on with the de-bubbling. <laughs> So I have managed to have enough time to debobble these two and can you see the difference? If you look at these jumpers here, the bobbles on these ones compared to these two, they look so much better. I am so happy. So I still have quite a few to go. Um, I mean some of them aren't as bad as others, like these ones are not that bad. It's more just like these two grey ones I need to do and then I have another cream knit here which is a little bit bobbly um, and I might go over my navy ones as well but apart from that they are looking lovely and I'm really enjoying my wardrobe at the moment it's just so easy to get ready in the morning I know where everything is I'm just really enjoying the space and actually using this section of the wardrobe for all of my drawers with my pyjamas and loungewear and my bags and perfumes I've really enjoyed. I do kind of want to style up this space a little bit so I'm thinking of ways that I can do that um, just to make it a little bit nicer, maybe utilise this space a little bit but I don't really need the space for anything major so at the moment it's really good. I've just got a couple of pieces here um, that need tailoring. I've got some jeans that I need to take up um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm really, really enjoying my wardrobe and I actually need to leave very shortly. But speaking of home updates, I have the bedroom to show you. I was very, very busy last week working on the bedroom and it's now painted and I absolutely love it. There's still lots of bits to finish off and potentially change and things like that, but I thought I would show you how it's looking so far and kind of bring you along the journey with me. So... The bedroom is painted, we went for Lick White number 5 and do you know what, at first I was a little bit unsure, I wasn't sure on the colour but now that we have painted it and I've kind of seen it in all different lights, I absolutely love it. It's such a soft shade of kind of like this creamy olive colour. It actually throws up different tones in different lights but I love it it's worked so well it's actually kind of inspired by the airbnb that we stay at in the cotswolds i adore the wall colors that they've used in there so it's very similar you can see that i have also painted the wardrobe doors i can confirm that jack absolutely loves it and he said when he got home on friday night when i had finished painting he could not believe how the bedroom looked he was over the moon he absolutely loves it i also did a little bit of a rejig on the bed the camera is throwing up very yellow tones right now because it's very dark and I've got all the lamps and lights on. Um, so please excuse that. But I decided to go ahead and paint the bedside tables. These are in the colour Mouse's Back from Farron Ball. I am obsessed with this colour. I think it's completely transformed the space. I really wanted it to feel so calming, so cosy and I think it's done exactly that. I do think we are going to change our bed. I'm just not in love with the buttons that are in the back of the bed. I feel like it's a bit busy and the colour of the bed doesn't really go that well. Um, same with the lamps. I am going to be switching out these lamps and these will be used in the guest room because I feel like they will work so much better in there. Um, and yeah, it's feeling lovely. On the bed, we've just got crisp white bedding and I've just got two cushions from Sewn and this is the home sense one and then this blanket is from zara home i absolutely love this and then i actually used the little photo frames from home sense on the bedside tables and i've got some roses that i got for valentine's day and that is pretty much it my led mask that i've been using every night religiously and then this corner so this is where we are planning on keeping the drawers they used to be behind me and now we are definitely going to be keeping them here i think i said this before but i am thinking of replacing these drawers they are most likely going to be something antique something vintage just because these are very very wonky they're not sturdy and we need a couple more drawers so these are fine for now um and then i've just gave it a little bit of a style up got some ivy some books and this lamp which is from mns home and then I've popped up some artwork. So this is one of the frames that I got from HomeSense and I've just put 
a little print in here. I think this is from Trove via Etsy. I love their artwork. It really does make such a difference having artwork in the rooms. So you might notice we don't have any curtains on the window. My wall lights are hanging on for dear life. So I need to find and replace these. I need to try and source some really. And then this corner, I've currently got this bench, which I actually ordered on Amazon a couple of days ago. And I love it. I think it is so beautiful for the price. It's got this really lovely washed, kind of like white wood with this lovely cotton style cream top. Absolutely love this. I don't think this is going to stay in here permanently because it's probably better used elsewhere. But um, until we get an armchair for this corner, this is just perfect. And we've also got our blind up here. This is from Blinds To Go. I absolutely love these blinds. They are so clever. If you've never seen Blinds To Go before, you basically click this bar system into place. You don't drill, you don't do anything like that. And then this section of the blind just hooks on. You can see the little hooks here. And then you Velcro up your Roman blind and then you can use it and it is fantastic. I'm actually heading to my mum's house shortly to measure up for some blinds in her house because she absolutely loves these ones. Um, but yes, this corner is going to be a little bit of an armchair side table, have a lovely nice antique brass wall light up here and I'm contemplating getting a full length mirror on this wall just to add a bit of depth and also for practicality, it's nice to have a mirror in the bedroom. Jack gets ready in here, his clothes are in here so he is always going into my dressing room to use the mirror so I think it would just be quite handy and this space lends itself quite well to just have a wall mirror mounted onto the wall and I also want to add some more artwork so I'm thinking of doing a couple of big frames along this wall um, I need to get the curtain pole fitted and then source some curtains I really want to get a gorgeous thick herringbone wool pair of curtains and then throughout the summer months I will probably switch them out to like a really floaty linen. I just love switching up interiors and changing things depending on the season so that is what I think I'm going to do. But yeah, that is pretty much how the room's looking. Our TV is a little bit of a monstrosity. Um, I definitely would much rather have this on the wall somewhere, but we just don't have the space in here. So it is going to stay on the stand. We got this from, I think we got this from Curry's or Amazon or Wayfair or somewhere like that. Um, and annoyingly, we have all of these ports up here because there used to be... I've actually filled and sanded it now, but there was a massive contraption where there was a tiny TV on the wall and it kind of swung out, but we took that down and we have our big TV in place, which I know looks very ugly, but honestly is so practical because we spend a lot of time in bed watching movies and we love our mornings, our slow mornings on the weekends where I bring coffee up and we'll watch TV and it's really nice. I really love having a TV in the bedroom. But yeah, that is how it is looking. And I mean, the colour is definitely throwing up yellow, but I think that is mainly just because it's so dark today and I've got the lamps on. But I am loving it so far. Oh, and final thing, the carpet. We need to change the carpet. We are going for the same carpet as the guest bedroom, so I need to get that measured up and ordered and book in with my brother to get him to come and fit it. But so far, so good. And I feel like my vision is really coming to life, which is really lovely. So, enough jabbering on, I am going to get myself changed, quickly jump in the car and head over to my mum's and I will probably see you when I'm back because I am going to be helping her out with lots of things today and yes, it's not going to be very interesting. So I will see you when I'm back. Oh my goodness, I'm back home. This weather is horrible. It's so miserable. Um, but I had a very good day, saw my mum, got lots done. I literally whacked my hair up like this because... We were outside and I just knew my hair was going to get wet and I just washed it this morning. So I've had it in a bun actually most of the day, which is why it's looking a bit crazy. But I am just about to have a bath. I'm running a nice hot bath. I am freezing. It is half five and it's been a long afternoon. It was very exciting though being at my mum's new house and oh, I'm just so excited for her. I am going to take my makeup off, have a lovely long bath 
I think I'm going to start watching the new series of The Durrells, which I'm absolutely loving on Netflix. I started it last year and I've just seen that they brought out a new series. So I think I'm going to watch that and then cook some dinner and get a nice early night. I also need to take my supplements because I haven't done that yet today and I'm trying to get back on my supplement game because I feel like the last few days I've been slacking and I've seriously noticed it. I have been feeling so lethargic, ridiculously fatigued, headaches, migraines, no energy and that linked with kind of the end of my time of the month. I think it really helps when I'm taking my supplements so yes I'm using the wild nutrition ones by the way I'm still doing the same thing magnesium omega-3 and the multi-nutrient so that has got vitamin d b loads of good things in um but I just wanted to come on now in the bathroom my battery is flashing so we're being quite quick but I have been using this new cleanser from youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser this is my second cleanse i start with an oil base to take off my makeup the battery died <laughs> i'm gonna be quick um yes and then i use this as the second cleanse and i am loving it absolutely loving it so i'm gonna link this below good morning everyone it is the next day and i am up really early this morning i've already i haven't spoken yet today so my voice is probably sounding a bit weird it is 6 45 and i woke up with jack this morning and i didn't go back to sleep which is something i'm really trying not to do because i find that i just feel so much better when i wake up first and don't go back to sleep um and i know i mentioned yesterday about wanting to chat to you about like wellness and all of those things and i really want to so i'm going to do that this morning um, but I'm gonna get myself a coffee. I have been obsessing over this. This is um, like a multi-serve um, Starbucks drink. It's the caramel macchiato flavor. I like coffee, but only when it's a little bit sweet. I don't really like bitter coffee. And the reason I have picked this up is because I actually got one of the little to-go ones. It's like a mini like single serve um, drink. I actually got one the other day at the petrol station and I absolutely loved it. So I picked up a bigger one so I can keep it in the fridge and then just drink it now and then in the morning. I don't have coffee every day. Sometimes I'll have matcha, um, sometimes I'll have coffee, sometimes I just won't have anything. Um, but some of those, some mornings, especially when I'm up early, I just really fancy like a sweet ice cold drink and this has been amazing. You can get it in normal supermarkets. So it is 6.45 and it's so bright outside, I cannot believe it. I feel like the bright mornings, the lighter mornings, the lighter evenings, they are really on the way. Don't get me wrong, it is definitely winter outside. <laughs> the signs of spring have definitely left us because it's so rainy and oh, it just looks so sad outside. Um, I think what I'm going to do this morning is... I'm taking my supplements, as I mentioned yesterday, still absolutely loving these. I think the main thing that I'm loving is that you can take them at any time of day and they don't make me feel sick. I find so many supplements really make me feel sick. Um, I've actually taken some supplements before and actually been sick um, in the morning. But Wild Nutrition just they're so easy and it just doesn't do that for me. So, I have some videos to film for work today and I really want to get a workout in this morning. As I was saying to you earlier on in the video, as I was saying to you yesterday, I have been just kind of like really exploring different wellness things and just trying to hone in on my feelings and my cycle especially. I've been following a lot of people on Instagram that chat a lot about cycle syncing, doing things that kind of work with your cycle, eating things that balance out your cycle and your hormones and kind of like planning out your month to go with that. Now I am in a very fortunate position because I work for myself, I work from home, I have the ability to do that which I definitely realise is such a privilege to have. 
Um, so I can really tailor my weeks based on those kind of things, which I know not everybody can do. Um, but because I am able to do that, I feel like it would be really silly not to try and explore it. So starting off, I have, so what has started this all off? It is Thursday today and on Monday I woke up and felt really, really awful. I have suffered in the past with kind of like, not depression, but depressive emotions and like really bad anxiety and it all kind of stemmed from an event that happened in my life. This is a very deep chat for very early in the morning, but um, yes, I ended up having therapy and chatted through a lot of things and it did help at the time, but it didn't really help long term because I have now kind of gone through a year after and I'm still having dips and moments and kind of like times in my life where those feelings come back and I find it really difficult to navigate. If anybody watching has struggled with kind of any depression, anxiety feelings, it's so, so hard, especially as a woman, because I feel like we are hormones all over the place anyway, whatever age you're at. And I feel like it's just an added thing that happens to me. And I've been starting to notice, actually Jack mentioned it to me and I was like, oh, that's actually so true. I have this every month. And he said to me that it's always this time of year. He said every year it gets to like the end of winter, nearly spring, and you start thinking about all these things and you start feeling like this. And I thought, Do you know what? That's so true. Sometimes it takes somebody close to you to notice something for you to realise it yourself. And just, we've been chatting the last couple of nights about it. And this week I've just really not felt like myself. I've been waking up feeling so tired no energy, no motivation, honestly feeling like I could just sleep for the whole day. And firstly, I will put that down to not taking my supplements because I didn't take them for about a week. And I definitely think that is a reason. I sleep a lot, we go to bed really early and I sleep all through the night, my sleep quality is really good. But yeah, I can't understand why this is happening. And the things that I can put it down to is diet and moving my body and things like really simple things like getting outside seeing people socializing they're things that i don't necessarily do a lot of especially in the winter i am one of those people that because i work from home and because i'm home a lot i will if it's raining i will just stay at home and don't get me wrong i love being at home but it's about a balance and i've really come to realize that I am the only one that is going to control that and I'm the only one that's going to make that better and have positive impact on myself and yeah I just I just kind of sick of it to be honest I'm really sick of every month having a week where I just I'm not my normal self I'm not performing at my best and do you know what sometimes you do have to lean into those feelings and if it's a day or two I don't mind. I'm more than happy to lean into those feelings and just ride the wave. But when it kind of spans over a week, that's a long time. That's a quarter of my month. And I can't be doing that every month. It's just, it's really starting to annoy me. So my mum always tells me to track my cycle and track my feelings, track what I'm eating that can then I can realise a pattern of like bloating which will then affect me feeling really tired because my digestive system is running on overdrive and all these things and I know that Nadia uses the Flow app and she has recommended it to me before years ago so I've downloaded the Flow app and it is basically an app where you can track your periods, you can track your mood and loads of other things that I'm not going to discuss on YouTube. I'm always really honest with you guys and I never want to just come on here and be like, hi, like, look at this thing I've decorated and let me show you these new products. I always want to actually tell you what's happening and what's going on. Just maybe this will resonate with somebody. So yes, that's my little wellness chat. And actually I was speaking to Jack a bit last night and we were just discussing things that would really help and kind of ways that I can implement, maybe kind of offloading certain tasks that I do for work 
with potentially getting someone in to like help out with me um potentially getting like a pt or something just di different things that would really help me and we were just discussing it and do you know what i have woken up this morning i actually feel like i could cry <laughs> oh god i've woken up this morning and i just i feel so i was not expecting to get emotional about this i feel so grateful that i have jack because we sat and chatted about it one night and i i just have woken up this morning and i feel so much better about it i feel so much clarity i just feel so lucky that i'm able to sit and tell him <laughs> oh my god this is so ridiculous um yeah i'm just i'm just really grateful that i'm able to sit and chat to him and tell him how i feel and for his response to be exactly what i want to hear like he just knows me inside and out and for him to notice things and probably not say it at the time but then say it when i bring it up it's just yeah i just feel very lucky and very grateful to have people around me like i do and i mean my friendship with nadia is so amazing we will message each other all the time and be like i feel rubbish today or like wake up when you're in a bad mood and you're like i'm on my period i'm in a rubbish mood and we'll motivate each other and we'll be like right what tasks do you need to get done and we'll just chat about it together and it's so helpful having people to kind of offload to and people that can just i don't know just help you when you can't help yourself so anyway <laughs> a very deep and emotional chat for a very early morning but on a better note my skin is feeling amazing I obviously have just woken up. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. I haven't brushed my teeth. But yeah, my skin is really feeling good at the moment. Um, I definitely feel like I want to have a bit of a beauty glow up. So I think probably in next week's video, I'll do a bit of a beauty routine um, and show you all the products I'm loving and just have like a bit of a self-care day, but a beauty self-care day. Um, so yeah, enough procrastinating. I'm gonna go and get some leggings on and get in the barn. It's very miserable though. <laughs> right, gym kit is on and it is miserable out here. It's raining. Look how nice the garden looks. I still need to give you a bit of an update on what we did in the garden, but I will do that after my workout. So I had to run the extension lead into the barn because we don't have electrics in here yet. But this is my situation. I've got my mat, I've got the running machine and I've got a view of very rainy Kent. <laughs> done and i feel so good for doing that honestly sometimes i do think you have to just push yourself and do the things that you probably don't really want to do but you always feel better afterwards now before i end this vlog and start a new one i want to take you in the garden and show you what we did over the weekend i mean it is thursday so it has been a while but i just want to quickly show you before i go up and get ready um before my food shop arrives it is a very rainy day but let me show you what i have been doing so me and jack spent the whole of sunday sorting out this area and just tidying it up and kind of implementing a bit of a plan to make it look nice over winter but also obviously spring summer when all the flowers bloom it still looks lovely um firstly i don't think i've shown you this bird feeder yet but we are absolutely loving it definitely need to fill it up i only filled it up on sunday and it's already pretty much all gone um but as you can see we added some more buxus bushes into our little well we're trying to make this a bit of like a herbaceous border kind of vibe um you can see we've got so many plants coming up 
loads of shoots all the iris coming up loads of little shoots here and there which is just lovely um and we actually got these from b and q which is so random but we went in there to get some um i don't know what we, i think we were getting some paint or something and we saw these in the garden center and they were an incredible price so we went back the following weekend and literally cleared them out um we've kind of staggered them a little bit so we've got little groupings of three um along the border and i just love it i think it looks so lovely we also took out the really big tree that was in here before and we have taken out another little bush that was down here um and we've moved one of the dogwood bushes over onto this corner so this is going to bush out and just create a really nice seamless flow throughout this area um so yeah we still have lots of things we want to do in here but i think come spring summer it's going to look amazing we've got so many i mean the lighting is absolutely wild we've got so many lovely plants coming up the iris is taking really well that i took out from the front and we've actually redistributed it around here so hopefully in the summer this is going to be really high loads of gorgeous flowers we've got alliums i think we've planted loads of alliums and iris in here um i think we might have some tulips coming up in here so yes fingers crossed over the next few months i will have a lot to show you um we also distributed a lot of the iris from the front garden um, here um next to the pathway that jack built so all the iris and we've also planted some alliums along here so hopefully that should all be coming up and then this view in the summer if you watched my vlogs from last summer you may remember every morning i came out here and just had a little walk around the garden with my coffee and it was lovely so i'm very excited to do that this year and i'm definitely excited when it is not freezing cold and raining and i've got water on my lens <laughs> um also the little hydrangea flower bed that we've got here has loads of daffodils coming up so the previous owner has obviously planted loads of daffodils down here so I'm very excited for those to come up too. But I'm going to get back inside because I'm absolutely freezing. And it is very wet. So yeah, they are just a couple of little bits that we did over the weekend. We basically, me and Jack have been following quite a few gardeners and like gardening people on Instagram. Um, Terry Winters being one of my absolute favourite people to follow on Instagram. I love his garden. I love his content. I love what he does and he has like a circular um flower bed in the middle of i think it's in his kitchen garden or his like a courtyard or something um and it's got like a buxus hedge around it in a circle and then he's got some lollipop trees in the middle and he's actually got buxus plants he's actually got um buxus planted within the middle and in the winter it looks so neat and tidy and still looks really lovely but then in the summer alliums and tulips and all these beautiful flowers come up and it looks incredible and we kind of wanted the garden to still look lovely in the winter still look neat still look tidy not just look really really sad so by planting buxus because it's an evergreen and it holds such a nice uniform shape i feel like it adds a bit of structure and it still makes the garden feel quite lovely even when it's a miserable day so yes that is what we've been doing that is what we've been up to I'm so pleased with it it honestly looks amazing and it's just so nice to see all of the shoots starting to come up the daffodils are, grow are literally growing every single day and I'm just very excited to start seeing everything come out because I feel like there's going to be a lot of bulbs that were already there that we maybe didn't see because we moved in kind of like June end of May June so we would have missed all the spring flowers so yeah it's very exciting right i'm gonna get upstairs get in the shower and get myself ready because time is ticking my food shop is gonna be on the way soon and i need to crack on i think i'm gonna end this vlog here to be honest um i don't think it's been a very interesting one but i hope you have enjoyed coming along with me for a couple of days listening to me chat and i feel like i'm really bad at ending my vlogs at the moment i keep completely forgetting to sign them off so, so thank you for watching and thank you so much for all of your lovely comments all the time it really means the world and i love chatting to you in the comments and in my dms on instagram it's just so lovely so i look forward to chatting to you underneath this video and i will see you on monday for a brand new vlog bye